Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Kingdom of Faith Outdoor channel. My name is Miguel Fuentes. Well, I just came back from work. Everything goes smoothly. Um, you know, I give God praise for what He's doing in in my life, and God is God. God is good, and so. Um, chap. So, so today we're going to get into the book of uh, Sarach. Chapter 16 to uh, 20. And uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and pray for us. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Lord. You're holy, mighty, worthy to be praised. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your love, for your peace, and for your Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for what you've been uh, doing in our, in our lives. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, if we have sin in our hearts. Lord, we ask that you would, uh, that you would, um, Lord, we, we repent of our sins. We, we ask that you would forgive us, Lord, and, and wash us clean by your blood. We thank you, we thank you, Lord, for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, chapter 16. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons do they multiply rejoice not in them except the fear of the Lord be with them trust not thou in that in their lives neither respect their multitude for one that is just is better than a thousand and better is it to die without children than to have them that are ungodly for by one that has understanding shall the city be be, be perished but the but the kind of the wicked shall speedily become desolate many shall so many should uh, such things have I seen in my eyes and my eye in my ears has heard greater things than these. In the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation wrath is set on fire. He was not profane towards the old giants who fell away in their in their uh, strength of their foolishness. Neither spare he the place where Lot so joined, but abhorred them for their pride. He pitied not the people of Paradation who were taken away in their sins, nor the six hundred thousand foot footmen who were gathered together in the hardness of their hearts. And if there is uh, if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marveled if he escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him, he is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. As his, as his mercy is great, so is he so so is his correction also. He judgeth a man according to his works. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils and the presence sorry and the patient of the godly shall not be fragmented. Make way for every work of mercy for every man shall find according to his works the lord heartened pharaoh that he should not know him that his powerful works may be known to the world his mercy is manifest to every creature in his uh separate uh separated his light from the darkness with a Animated. 
Say not thou, I will hide myself from the Lord. Shall any remember me from above? And I shall not be remembered among so many people. For what is my soul among such an inf infinite number of creatures? Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens, the deep and the earth, and all that therein is, shall be moved when he should visit. The mountains also and, and foundations of the of the earth be shaken with trembling when the Lord looketh upon them. No heart can think upon these things worthily, and who is able to conceive his ways? It is a tempest which no man sh can see, for the part for the most part of his works are hid. Who can declare the works of his justice, or what, sorry, uh, or who can endure them? For his covenant is a fall off, and in the trial of all things is in the end. He that wanteth understanding will think upon vain things, and a foolish man, erring, imagineth follies. My son, hearken unto me, and learn knowledge, and mark my words with thy heart. I will slow forth doctrine and wait, and declare his knowledge uh, exactly. The works of the Lord are done in judgment from the beginning, and from the time he had them he displaced the parts thereof, and he guarded his works forever, and in, and in his hand are the chief of them unto all generations. They neither labor nor are weary nor cease from their works. None of them hindereth another, and they shall never dis obey his word. After this the Lord looked upon the earth and, and filled it with his blessings. With all manner of living things has he covered the face of uh, thereof, and they shall return into it again. Chapter 17 The Lord created man of the earth and turned him into it again. He gave them few days in a short time and in power also over the things therein. He endured them with strength by themselves and made them according to his image and put the fear of men upon all flesh and gave him dominion over beasts in fowls. They received the use of the five operation of the Lord, and in the sixth place he imparted them understanding, and in the, and in the seventh speech, an interpretator of the cognition of, thereof, counsel in a tongue, in eyes, ears, and a heart, gave he them to understand. Withheld he filled them with the knowledge of understanding and show him show them good and evil. He set his eyes upon their hearts that he may slew them the great the greatness of his works. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever, that they may declare his works with understanding. And in the elect 
shall praise his holy name. Beside this, he gave them an, uh, knowledge and in the law of life for an heritage. He made an everlasting covenant with them and slow so and showed them his mer uh, his judgment. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory, and their ears heard his glorious voice. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Their ways are ever before him, and not and shall not be hid from his eyes. And uh, every man from his youth is given to evil, neither could they make to themselves fleshly hearts for stony. For in the division of the nations of the world, of the whole world, the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion, whom being his firstborn, he nourished with discipline and gaving him the light of his love, doeth not forsake him. Therefore all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their way. None of their unrighteousness deeds are hid from him, but all their sin are before the Lord. But the Lord, being gracious in knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. The alms of a man is a, is, is a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of men as the apple of the eye and gave repentance to his sons and daughters. Afterward he will rise up and reward them and, and render their recompense, recompense upon their heads. But unto them that, re, that repent he gained them return. And comfort those that failed in presence. Return unto the Lord and, fors and forsake their sins. Make their prayer before his face and often less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health. And hate thou abominable veneration no, then him decently. Who shall praise the Most High in the grave instead of them which live and gave thanks? Thanksgiving perishes from the dead as from one that is not. The living and sound in heart shall praise the Lord. How great is the loving kindness of the Lord our God! And his compassion unto such as turn unto him in holiness. For all things cannot be in men, because, because the Son of Man is not immortal. Where is brighter than the sun? Yet the light thereof faileth in the flesh and blood will imagine evil. He He viewed the power of the height of heaven, and all men are but earth and ashes. Let me take a quick break on the take a sip here. All right. Chapter 18. He that liveth forever has created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but He who governeth the whole 
uh, the whole world, sorry, uh, who give, who governs the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will, for he is the king of all, but by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. To whom has he given power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? How shall number the strength of his majesty? And who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from, from him, neither may anything be put unto them, neither can the ground of them be found out. When a man has done, then he beginneth, and when he leaveth off, then he shall be doubtful. He is men, and whereto serveth he? What is his good, and then what is his evil? The number of a men's days are at the most are in hundred years, as a drop of rain, sorry, as a drop of water, unto the sea, in gravel stone, in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Therefore is God patient with them, and pour out, I'm oh sorry, and pour forth his mercy upon them? He saw and perceived their end to be evil. Therefore he multitude, um, multitude his compassion the mercy of men is towards his neighbor, but the mercy of the Lord is upon all flesh. He reproved and nurtureth and teacheth and bringeth again as a shepherd his flock. He has mercy on them that receive discipline and that uh, diligently seek after his judgment. My son, blemish not thy good deeds, neither use uncomfortable words when thou givest anything. Shall not the thou assuage the heat, so is a word better than a gift. Lo, is not a word better than a gift, but both are with a gracious man. A fool will upbraid calamity in a gift of the envious consume the eye. Learn before thou speak and use be sick or eat or ever thou be sick. Before judgment examine thyself and in the days of visitation thou shalt find mercy. Humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the day, sorry, in the time of sin, show repentance. Let nothing hinder thee to pay the vow in due time, and defer not until death to be uh, justified. Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one thou tempereth the Lord. Think upon the, the wrath that shall be at the end in time of vengeance, when he shall turn away his face. When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger, and, and when thou art rich, think upon uh, poverty and needy from the morning until the evening, the time is changed, and all things are soon done before the Lord. A wise man will fear, will fear in every time, and in the day of the sinning, he will beware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. 
Every man of understanding knoweth wisdom, and will give praise unto him that found her. They that were of understanding and saying became also wise themselves, and and pour forth esotricity proverbs. Go not after thy lusts, but refrain thyself on thee. Uh, appetites. If thou givest thy soul the deliverance to the desire that please her, she will make thee a laughing stock to thee to thy enemies that uh, marriage thee. Take not pleasure in much good cheer, neither be tied to the exposure of themselves. Be not made a beggar by banquetity upon borrowing when thou hast nothing in thy purse uh, purse for well, thou shalt lie in time for uh, thy own life and be talked on chapter 19 We're almost done two more chapters A laboring man that a is given to 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 the drunkenness shall not be rich, and he that consumeth small things shall fall by little by little and little. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away, and he that cleave to harlots will become imp proud. Uh, moths and worms shall have shall have him to inherit and in a bold man shall be taken away he that is hasty to give credit is uh, is uh, is uh, light minded and he that sinneth shall offend against his own soul. Who uh, who so talketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned. But he that resists pleasure uh, crowns his life. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife. And he that 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 uh heedeth bubbling shall have less evil rehearse not unto another that which is told unto thee and thou shalt fear never the worse whether it be to friends or foe talk not of other men uh, sorry uh, yeah other men's lives and if thou canst without offense reveal them not. Well, he heard and observed thee, and when time cometh, he will hate thee. If thou hast heard a word, let it die with thee, and be bold, it will not burst thee. A fool travaileth a, uh, with a word, as a woman in labor of a child, as an arrow that's Jugeth in a man's thigh, so is the word within a fool's belly. A promise in men, it may be he that has not done it, and if he has done it, that he do it no more. A daughter's thy friend, it may be he has not said it, and if he have that he speak it not again. Abolishing men for many times it is a slender and believe not every tale. There is no that slippeth in his speech, 
but not from his heart. And who is he that has not offended with his tongue? Abolish thy neighbor before thou done him. And not being angry gave uh, place to the law of the Most High. To fear the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth his love. The knowledge of the of the the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the is the performance of the law. And in the knowledge of his omni Plenticy. Anyway. If a servant says to his master, I will not do as it pleaseth thee, though at the word he doeth, he angereth him, the nurse him. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, nor at any time the counsel of sinners perceive. There is a wickedness in the same in abomination, and there is a fool waiting in wisdom. He that has small understanding and feareth, and feareth God is better than one that has much wisdom and transgresseth, transgresseth the law of the Most High. There is an eternity sub, uh, sub twenty. And the same is unjust, and there is one that turneth aside to make judgment appear. And there is a wise man that justifieth in in, uh, judgment. There there is a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly. But inwardly he is full of deceit, casting down his countenance and making as if he heard not. Where he is not known, he will do thee a mischief before thou be aware. And if for want of power he be hindrance from sinning, yet when he findeth opportunity he will do evil. A man may be known by his look, and one that has understanding by his countenance. When thou meetest him, a man's attire and excessive laughter and gale show who what shows what he is. Alright, we're in chapter twenty. There is a reproof that is not commonly again some men hold his tongue in his wood and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly, and that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? For so shall Thou escape for will, willful sin, as it is the lust of an uh, uh, eunuch to deflower a virgin. So is he that executes judgment with violence. There is one that that keepeth silence and is found wise. And another, by much bobbling, becometh hate, uh, hateful. Some man holdeth his tongue, 
because he has not to answer, and some give us signs. Knowing his time, a wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. He that useth many words shall be afford, and he that taketh to him self authority therein shall be hated. There is a sinner that has good success in, in evil things, and there is a gain that turned to loss. There is a gift that shall not profit thee, and there is a gift whose reproach is double. There is an abasement of, uh, of glory And there that lifted up his head from a low estate, there is that buyeth much for a little. And we preach it sevenfold. A wise man by his word maketh him beloved, but the grace of fools shall be poured out. The gift of a fool shall do thee no good when thou hast it. Neither yet the envious of uh, for his necessary, for he looketh to receive many things for one. He giveth little and up and up and up braided thee much. He opened his mouth like a Prior, today he lenders, and tomorrow he will. Sorry, tomorrow he will he ask it again. Such as one is to be hated from God and men. The fool saith, "I have no friends. I have no thank for all my good deeds." And they that eat my bread speak evil of me. How loath and of how many shall he be laughed to scorn? For he knoweth not aright what is, is to have. It is all one unto him as if he had it not. To slip upon a improvement is better than to slip with the tongue. So the fall of the wicked shall come speedily, an, unse an unseasonable tie, so tail, will also be in the mouth of the unwise. A wise sentence shall be returned rejected when it comes out of a fool's mouth. For he will not speak in its due time. There is that is hindering from sinning through want. And when he taketh rest, he shall not be troubled. There is that dis uh, that destroyeth his own soul through Bushfulness and by accepting a person's overthrow it to overthrow himself. There is that for bushfulness promise to his friends and make him his enemy for nothing. A lie is a foul blunt in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. A thief is better than a man that is uh, 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 consumed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to inherit. The displacement of a liar is dishonorable, and his shame is ever with him. A wise man shall promote himself to, to honor with his 
with his words, in that he, so he that that understanding will please great men. He that telleth his land shall increase his heart, and he that pleaseth great men shall give uh, pardon for iniquity. Presents and gifts blind the eye of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Wisdom that is hid and the treasure that is heard, uh, hoarded up. What profit is in them both? Better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. Man, that is a mouthful, man. I tell you. A lot of wisdom stuff from the Lord that I believe. So... We see, uh, first thing that we see is that God's wisdom seen in the creation. We see God created men through wisdom. God created men by his power. And this is a confirmation of what, what God did in Genesis chapter 1. God created everything according to God's wisdom. Secondly, there is a call to repentance for those who do evil things, those who do evil stuff. And sometimes I, uh, and sometimes we all make mistakes, but we always got to repent of that mistake. Um, because sometimes we were ignorant of what we're doing. Sometimes, sometimes we, we do it, um, uh, purposely, you know, God does not like that, you know, and God wants us to repent always. And thirdly, God talks about the paradox of all things, and man, it, it's been a very, very interesting read. Next week, we'll get into chapters 21 to 25, and um, there's a lot more to go, so... Again, thank you guys for watching. May God bless you. May God keep you. See you guys again next time.